Hi, my name is Viktor Rausch. I'm from the Microvision office in Hamburg, Germany. Today, I would like to introduce you to our MEMS-based LiDAR technology. I would like to show you the key features, the dynamic field of view and the high resolution in range. And I would also like to show you the combined strength of the Microvision hardware and the former Ibeo perception software. So please jump in and let's have a nice drive. Um, what is a LiDAR point cloud? So LiDAR means light detection and ranging. So we are emitting light pulses and once this light pulse hits a target, it gets reflected. This reflection can be measured by the receiver module in the sensor. And based on the time of flight, we can compute the X, Y and Z position of every single point and centimeter precision. The more reflective a target is, the higher the um, returned energy is and the higher the intensity of the point in the end. What you see on the screen now is um, the visualization of the 40 point load. So we have for every single point the X, Y, Z positions and the intensity, which is here um, shown in the color code. It's live data, it's uh, no filtering, so you see what you see here. The MAVEN sensor is based on the MEMS technology. So it means we have scanning mirrors on the emitting and on the receiving side. And the directions are tightly locked, so it means um, the receiver knows exactly where or where to look and where to expect the signal. Based on that, we are very immune to ambient noise and also to other uh, LiDAR sensors. So if there would be a car in front of us and uh, pointing towards our LiDAR sensor, um, it would be no problem for the MAVEN. The MAVEN sensor has a dynamic field of view, which makes it very unique. It means we have three different field of views within one sensor. We have one near field, which you can see now on your screen. So it means we have a very wide horizontal field of view, but uh, only short range for this area. This sensor is enabled to see objects crossing the, the vehicle or the sensor. It, uh, it enables us to, to see in the periphery of the sensor. So everything enters the field of view, we can see it. The second field of view is the midfield. So it has a more narrow horizontal field of view but a uh, further range. And last but not least, we have our far field area, which you can see now. This field of view is more narrow in horizontal angle, but has a much uh, longer range. This sensor especially is uh, very important for the highway use case. So if we're driving 60 miles per hour, we have to see targets as soon as possible to be able to react on the situation. So with this sensor, we can really see objects up to 220 and more. This point cloud enables us to compute different features. One of the features is the free space computation, which you can see now. So here it's a computation which allows us to know where can we go with the car and where not. Where is something in front of us? Where is something blocking our road? With our sensor we can really see the car, we can see the shape of the car, understand the environment. And this is necessary to enable autonomous driving in the future. Another feature which we provide is the lane detection. So here you can see based on the different reflectivity of the lane and the ground, we are able to track these lanes. So what you see here now is the output of the lane detection. The third feature which we provide is the object tracking. So here you can see the red boxes around the objects. We are tracking the state of the object. So that means we get the position of the object, the dimensions of the object, the velocity and the orientation, for example. This allows the autonomous system in the end to predict the, the behavior of the objects and to decide what to do. One additional feature of the MAVEN is the smart pulsing. The smart pulsing means our sensor is capable to, to emit a certain amount of energy. With the smart pulsing, we can decide where we want to, to focus the energy. So for example, if we know on the highway what is the most important thing, it's uh, what happened in front of the car. So we can uh, emit in that area more energy than, for example, in three meters height above the car, since it's not important. With this high resolution of the point cloud, we and the system really can understand the environment. I hope you enjoyed the ride and I hope I was able to show you the capabilities of our MAVEN sensor. We are very proud of what we accomplished so far 
And we are confident that our hardware together with our software will make the future of mobility safer. Have a good day.